Good evening, Bleed Big Blue Nation. Jimmy D, your Captain Negative. I just got done listening to the list of glory, list of shame. And I feel pretty much called out by it, right? I know Tim on the podcast said, yeah, we included you. We, he didn't call me out by name, ladies and gentlemen, but he did say shame on the Giant fans that still have a problem with taking Saquon Barkley at number two. Well, allow me to retort, Tim. Here's the thing. No one ever said, and you can go back to the podcasts around the draft. You can go back and listen to the shows around the draft. No one ever said Saquon Barkley wasn't talented. And you can go back to recent podcasts, and I'll even say that you, you can hear me say that he has even surpassed the player that I thought he was. I had questions with him running between the tackles, and he's done that well. And he's run after contact well. And he's going to break records. And he's going to win the rookie of the year. And we're 5-8. and eight. We're 5-8. and eight. It's the same team that started 1-7. and seven. A dose of reality to all you fans that are really hyped up that we beat Nick Mullins, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Chase Daniel. Had to hold on by the skin of our teeth for those fucking two. I mean, guys, guys, Mark Sanchez, that Redskin team gave up last week. Gave up. They didn't want to play. This is what you're celebrating? This is, this is what the, the, the run to the playoffs is going to look like in the Super Bowl? You're delusional, and you're kidding yourself, and you're the same people that in May are going to be crying if this team doesn't end up with a quarterback. Am I saying tank? No, you're not going to tank. But can you play Loretta? Can we see if the kid has anything at 1-7? No, no, no. We're, we're going to gas ourselves up with some awful wins here and pretend like we got a shot. And when, when the roof comes caving in and it's May and you're picking 12th and you don't got a shot for a quarterback or you got to trade up everything in order to get one, you're going to be crying. And don't tell me it's simple to trade up and get a quarterback. You're kidding yourself. It's not. You're not the only team in the league, Giant fans. Stop being so hoodwinked and bamboozled by individual numbers. It's embarrassing. It's a team sport. And Saquon Barkley was part of a team that started 1-7, despite the records and all the yards and everything. 1-7. And, and if you plan on coming back from that every year, good luck. This team needs a quarterback. And while the argument may have changed to, yes, we took Barkley, he's in uniform, and now to make the most out of this, you need a young quarterback. You better get one so that you can have a young quarterback on a rookie contract to be able to fill up this roster and make it deeper, similar to what the Rams are doing in L.A. Because if we don't get a quarterback, a young quarterback to build around, you, all these toys don't do you no good, ladies and gentlemen. Go look at Barry Sanders and Adrian Peterson. And get back to me in the comments with how many Super Bowl trophies they had. See how Scott Mitchell did for Barry Sanders. We big blue giant fans, wake up. Run the team, Mara. I love you guys. Happy holidays. Screw you, Tim. <laughs>